The story continues as Earth escorts Silver, the elderly man from the previous episode, to a concealed and secure hideaway. Inside, they find a quiet spot to sit and have a candid conversation. It doesn't take long for Earth to notice that the old knight is equipped with some of the game's most formidable gear. He quickly deduces that this seasoned player is among the best, tackling the game's most challenging contest. Silver wastes no time and inquires if Earth has crossed paths with a player by the name of Glad. After a moment of contemplation, Earth responds in the negative. This prompts the knight to reveal unsettling rumors that Glad has been targeting players bearing the prestigious Fairy Player title. Silver is understandably concerned that he may be in Glad's sights. Upon hearing this, Earth's interest is fully engaged, and he eagerly seeks more information about this enigmatic player, Glad. Silver then confesses that Glad was once a member of his own gaming party. Despite his exceptional tanking skills, Glad's ego inflated, and he began to look down upon his fellow party members. However, when the critical event commenced, he failed to form a contract with a fairy, leaving him embittered. His frustration spilled over onto other players, leading Silver as the leader to make the difficult decision to expel him from the group. As part of the narrative, Silver summons his formidable Light Valkyrie fairy and explains that Glad eventually acquired a new crystal and established a contract with a Darkness Fox fairy. Now, Glad roams the game world, challenging players to special PvP duels. Earth speculates that Glad may be using these duels as a means to prove his strength and make up for past humiliation. Silver is deeply concerned that Glad may have grand plans for the upcoming tournament, where he could attempt to showcase his prowess. He implores Earth as the party leader to keep a distance from Glad and assures that he is willing to shoulder the responsibility of admonishing him during the tournament. Earth empathizes with the elderly man's concerns, but firmly believes in the importance of seeking out multiple perspectives before drawing any conclusions. The following day, he embarks on a unique hunting strategy, one that serves as a protective shield against potential encounters with Glad, the enigmatic figure causing apprehension. His hunting expedition commences with a calculated headshot that initiates a sequence of actions involving archery techniques that significantly enhance his precision and firing rate. As an approaching bear rushes menacingly toward him, Earth employs his whip skill to bring down the beast and delivers the finishing blow with a skilled bladed kick. This solo accomplishment serves as a testament to the remarkable growth in his abilities, given that it once required the collective efforts of his entire party to achieve such a feat. Furthermore, this feat grants him the opportunity to level up and learn the sliding charge kick, a new ability that can be employed for both offensive actions and swift escapes. Following his successful hunting venture, Earth redirects his attention towards mining to procure more advanced equipment upgrades. He dutifully notifies fellow players when he stumbles upon potentially hazardous explosive materials, a practice aimed at safeguarding others from the risks associated with careless handling. In return, he receives the heartfelt gratitude of his fellow players, as some nefarious individuals misuse such materials to concoct destructive explosives. Subsequently, Earth pays a visit to Black's place to seek the assistance of his smithy for crafting improvements. Drawing inspiration from a uniquely designed twisted blade, he fashions an arrow capable of superior piercing capabilities and incorporating a laceration effect, which gradually diminishes an enemy's health over time. Earth doesn't stop there. He proceeds to forge a formidable triangle blade whip that bears an uncanny resemblance to instruments one might find in a medieval torture chamber. This grotesque weapon not only inflicts damage but also restrains opponents, rendering them increasingly vulnerable to harm. Expressing his gratitude to Black for the invaluable aid, Earth heads over to the Potion Workshop. In the depths of the Potion Workshop's basement, Earth is granted access to a space where he can safely experiment with explosive concoctions. Utilizing his medical skills, he painstakingly produces three different oils, each with distinct compositions. He decides to test these volatile creations in a secluded area. The first oil disappointingly fails to ignite, while the second results in an explosive eruption that depletes 80% of his health, rendering it far too potent for general use. Yet he retains it as a last resort option to combat formidable adversaries, naming it Hellmine Oil. Finally, Earth tries the third concoction, which yields the perfect explosion, delivering just the right amount of power. With the newfound oils in his inventory, Earth ventures out to a remote area, where he uses them to take down three wild bears. 
This newfound success significantly boosts his experience and elevates both his hunting bow and wind magic skills to level 50. An important decision awaits him, as he's given the option to merge these skills into a specialized elemental weapon art. This choice would necessitate relinquishing some proficiency in his hunting bow and wind magic skills, yet Earth affirms his decision and begins honing the skills of the Gatling Arrow. This newfound technique permits him to unleash bursts of arrows, although at his current level he can only release two at a time. Another skill, Fly, empowers him to traverse extensive distances using wind magic. Upon returning to the town, Earth pays a visit to the armor merchant to place an order for a protective cape to shield his back during battles. However, their conversation is abruptly interrupted by a significant announcement, impacting all players within the game. It is revealed that the scoring for the fairy PvP event has concluded, and the top 16 players who will advance to the final tournament are announced. Earth's reaction is not one of surprise, but rather an acknowledgement of the inevitable as he notices that both Silver and Glad have secured top positions on the leaderboard. The next day, the tournament begins with a big crowd gathered to watch. Earth uses his special vision skill to find other players with the fairy player title and understands their struggles. The top players put on an impressive show of skill, but in the end it's Silver and Glad who reach the finals. Earth is surprised to discover that Glad can use wind magic, which he combines with his other abilities to defeat Silver, becoming the winner of the tournament. His fairy evolves into a humanoid fairy queen. The fairy queen refuses to be subservient to Glad and reveals the true purpose of the event, to select the next ruler of the fairies. They were told that the ruler should be strong and skilled in the arts of war, but fairies are not naturally inclined to war. They had to learn how to fight from humans, who are experts in warfare. The winner of each fight inherits the experiences of the loser, and the last one standing becomes the fairy ruler which is now her. Glad tries to make it seem like he was used, but the fairy queen points out that he only saw her as a means to get his revenge, and now that he's achieved it, their contract is over. She offers him some money and a replacement fairy at the same level as the queen before her evolution as compensation for his efforts. However, Glad refuses and challenges the queen instead, canceling the deal. The fight begins, and he gets defeated severely with a barrage of spells. The queen allows Silver to take over since Glad has learned a lesson in humility. The fairy ruler then calls the three fairy player title holders and praises them for their restraint in the battle. She evolves the two who had fairies as their rewards. Earth is given the opportunity to fight her as his reward, which confuses him, bringing the episode to an end. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more anime recap updates.